In today's episode, we're going to take a look at whether the spleen helps elite breath hold divers to hold their breaths for a long time underwater. In the world of free diving, athletes compete in various disciplines all while holding their breath. The world record for a single breath hold while staying still underwater is at over 11 and a half minutes, while the record for swimming with one breath is over 300 meters. How are these amazing feats possible? There are specific ways that breath hold, also called apnea, can be trained. However, is it possible that the spleen plays a role? What is the spleen? It is an organ that is to the left of the stomach and above the left kidney. It has a range of functions including controlling the level of red and white blood cells in the body and getting rid of old and damaged ones. So it's possible that the spleen releases more red blood cells during apnea thus allowing for more oxygen delivery to the body. What Elia and colleagues tested in 2021 was whether there was a relationship between how big the spleen is at rest and how long people can hold their breath underwater. They also tested whether lower levels of oxygen in the body caused the spleen to contract more and therefore release more red blood cells. In their study, both trained apnea divers and untrained individuals performed apnea while staying still underwater and also while swimming lengths of a pool. Ultrasound imaging was used to calculate the volume of the spleen at rest and after each breath hold type. What were the main findings? On the right graph, we see that the lower the oxygen level in the body at the end of the dive, the smaller the spleen which means that low oxygen in the body does seem to cause the spleen to contract more and release more red blood cells. On the left graph, we see that a larger spleen at rest did relate with a longer distance swum with one breath. However, what was interesting was that trained breath hold divers didn't seem to have a higher spleen volume than untrained, so it doesn't seem to be a case where trained breath hold divers had a genetic gift of a bigger spleen. So it seems that the spleen does help you to hold your breath longer, but that it's not the only secret behind elite breath hold divers. I hope that you have enjoyed this peek into the fascinating world of environmental physiology. I'm Stephen Chung, and I run the Environmental Ergonomics Lab at Brock University in Canada. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel and check out our other short science episodes. If you want more detailed environmental physiology seminars, please check out our virtual environmental ergonomics series. Thanks for watching and see you next time.